Joshua 12 through 15. These are the kings of the land whom the Israelites had defeated and whose territory they took over east of the Jordan from the Arnon Gorge to Mount Hermon, including all the eastern side of the Arabah. Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, he ruled from Erower on the rim of the Arnon Gorge, from the middle of the gorge, to the Jabbok River, which is the border of the Ammonites. This included half of Gilead. He also ruled over the eastern Arabah, from the Sea of Kinnereth to the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, to Beth Jeshemoth, and then southward below the slope of the slopes of Pisgah, and the territory of Og, king of Bashan, one of the last of the Rephites who reigned in Ashtaroth and Idri. He ruled over Mount Hermon, Selika, all of Bashan to the border of the people of Geshur and Makkah, and half of Gilead, to the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. Moses, the servant of the Lord, and the Israelites conquered them, and Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave their land to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh to be their possession. These are the kings of the land that Joshua and the Israelites conquered on the west side of the Jordan, from Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon to Mount Halak, which rises toward Seir. Their land Joshua gave as an inheritance to the tribes of Israel, according to their tribal divisions, in the hill country, the western foothills, the Arabah, the mountain slopes, the desert and the Negev, the lands of the Hittites, Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. The king of Jericho, one. The king of Ai, near Bethel, one. The king of Jerusalem, one. The king of Hebron, one. The king of Jarmuth, one. The king of Lachish, one. The king of Eglon, one. The king of Jezir, one. The king of Debir, one. The king of Jester, one. The king of Horma, one. The king of Arad, one. The king of Libna, one. The king of Adullam, one. The king of Makeda, one. The king of Bethel, one. The king of Tapua, one. The king of Hephir, one. The king of Aphek, one, the king of Lasharon, one, the king of Medan, one, the king of Hazor, one, the king of Shimron Meron, one, the king of Akshaf, one, the king of Tanakh, one, the king of Megiddo, one, the king of Kadesh, one, the king of Jachnam and Carmel, one, the king of Dor and Nephathdor, one, the king of Goyim and Gilgal, one. The king of Tizra, one. Thirty-one kings in all. Chapter 13. When Joshua was old and well advanced in years, the Lord said to him, You are very old, and there are still very large areas of land to be taken over. This is the land that remains. All these regions of the Philistines and Jeshurites, from, Shehor, from the Shehor River on the east of Egypt to the territory of Ekron on the north of all, of all it counted as Canaanite. All of it counted as Canaanite, the territory of the five Philistine rulers in Gaza, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Gath, and Ekron, that is, the Avites, from the, from the south, all the land of the Canaanites, from Ara of the Sidonians, as far of, as Afek, the region of the Amorites, the area of the Gebalites, and all Lebanon, to the east, from Balgad, below Mount Hermon, to Lebo, Hamath. As for all the inhabitants of the mountain regions of Lebanon, 
to Mizraphath, Maim, that is, all the Sidonians, I myself will drive them out before the Israelites. Be sure to allocate this land to Israel for an inheritance, as I have instructed you, and divide it as an inheritance among the nine tribes and half-tribe of Manasseh. The other half of Manasseh, the Reubenites and the Gadites, had received the inheritance that Moses had given them east of the Jordan, as he, the servant of the Lord, had assigned it to them. It extended from Arrowhair on the rim of the Arnon Gorge and from the town in the middle of the gorge and included the whole plateau of Mediba as far as Dibon and all the towns of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who ruled in Heshbon, out to the border of the Ammonites. It also included Gilead, the territory of the people of Geshir and Makkah, all of Mount Hermon, and all Bashan as far as Seleka. That is the whole kingdom of Og and Bashan, who had reigned in Ashtaroth and Idri, and had survived as one of the last of the Rephites. Moses had defeated them and taken over their land, but the Israelites did not drive out the people of Geshur and Makkah. So they continue to live among the Israelites to this day. But to the tribe of Levi he gave no inheritance, since the offerings made by fire to the Lord, the God of Israel, are the inheritance as he promised them. This is what Moses had given to the tribe of Reuben, clan by clan, the territory from Arrowhair on the rim of the Arnon Gorge, and from the town in the middle of the gorge and the whole plateau past Mediba to Heshbon and all its towns on the plateau, including Dibon, Bamoth Bal, Beth Balmeon, Jehaz, Kedemoth, Mesphath, Kiriathaim, Sibma, Zareth, Shear, on the hill in the valley, Beth Peor, the slopes of Pisgah, the Beth and Beth Jeshemoth, all the towns on the plateau, and the entire realm, realm of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who ruled at Heshbon. Moses had defeated him, and the Midianite chiefs, Evi, Rechem, Zur, Hur, and Reba princes allied with Sihon, who lived in the, that country. In addition to those slain in battle, the Israelites had put to the sword Balaam, son of Beor, who practiced divination. The boundary of the Reubenites was the bank of the Jordan. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the Reubenites clan by clan. This is what Moses had given the, to the tribe of Gad, clan by clan, the territory of Jazar, all the towns of Gilead, and half the Ammonite country, as far as Arrowhair, near Rabbah, and from Heshbon to Ramath Mizpah, and Bethim, no, Betohim, and from Mahanim to the territory of Debir, and in the valley, Beth Haram, Beth Nemra, Sukkoth, and Zephon, with the rest of the realm of Sihon, king of Heshbon, the east side of the Jordan, the territory up to the end of the Sea of Kinnereth. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the Gadites, clan by clan. This is what Moses had given to the half tribe of Manasseh, that is, to half the family of the descendants of Manasseh, clan by clan, the territory extending from Mahanem and including all of Bashan, the entire realm of Og, king of Bashan, all the settlements of Jer and in Bashan, sixty towns, half of Gilead, and Ashtaroth and Idri, the royal cities of Og and Bashan. This was for the descendants of Machir, 
son of Manasseh, for the half for half the tr the sons of Machir, clan by clan. This is the inheritance Moses had given when he was in the plains of Moab, across from the Jordan east of Jericho. But to the tribe of Levi, Moses had given no inheritance. The Lord, the God of Israel, is their inheritance, as he promised them. Chapter 14 now these are the areas the Israelites received as an inheritance in the land of Canaan, which Eliazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the heads of the tribal clans of Israel allotted to them. Their inheritances were assigned by lot to the nine and a half tribes, as the Lord had commanded through Moses. Moses had granted the two and a half tribes their inheritance east of the Jordan, but had not granted the Levites an inheritance among the rest. For the sons of Joseph had become two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. The Levites received no share of the land, but only towns to live in, with pasture lands for their flocks and herds. So the Israelites divided the land just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Now the men of Judah approached Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the, Ken the, Kenz the Kenizzite, said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, at Kadesh Barnea, about you and me. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to explore the land. And I brought him back a report according to my convictions, but my brothers who went up with me made the hearts of the people melt with fear. I, however, followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. So on that day Moses swore to me, The land on which your feet have walked will be your inheritance, and that of your children forever, because you have followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. Now then, just as the Lord promised, he, kept, he has kept me alive for forty-five years since the time he said this to Moses, while Israel moved about in the desert. So here I am today, eighty-five years old. I am still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out. I am just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then. Now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard then that the Anakites, not the Anakites were there, and their cities were large and fortified. But the Lord, helping me, I, was, I will drive them out, just as he said. Then Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and gave him Hebron, as his inheritance. So Hebron has belonged to Caleb's and to Caleb, sons, son of Jephunneh, the Kizanites, ever since, because he followed the Lord, the God of Israel, wholeheartedly. Hebron used to be called Kiriath Arba, after Arba, who was the greatest man among the Anakites. Then the land had rest from war. Chapter 15 the allotment for the tribe of Judah, clan by clan, extended down to the territory of Edom, to the desert of Zin, in the extreme south. Their southern boundary started from the bay at the southern end of the Salt Sea, crossed south of Scorpia, pass of Scorpion Pass, continued on to Zin, and went over to the south of Kadesh Benea. Then it ran past Hezron up to Adar and curved around to Karka. It then passed along the, Am the Asmon and joined the Wadi of Egypt, ending at the sea. This is their southern boundary. The eastern boundary is the Salt Sea, as far as the mouth of the Jordan. The northern boundary started from the bay of the sea at the mouth of the Jordan, went up to Beth Hagla, 
and continued north of Beth Araba to the stone of Bohan, son of Reuben. The boundary then went up to Debir from the valley of Akor and turned north to Gilgal, which faces the pass of Adumim, south of the gorge. It continued along the waters of En Shemesh and came out of at En Rogel. Then it ran up the valley of Ben Hinnom along the southern slope of the Jebusite city, that is, Jerusalem. From there it climbed to the top of the hill west of the Hinnom Valley at the northern end of the Valley of Rephim. From the hilltop, the boundary headed toward the spring of the waters of Neftoah, came out at the towns of Mount Ephron, and went down toward Bala, that is Kiriath Jerim. Then it curved westward from Bala to Mount Seir, ran along the northern slope of Mount Jerim, that is Kassalan, continued down to Beth Shemesh and crossed to Timnah. It went to the northern slope of Ekron, turned toward Shekaron, passed along to Mount Bala, and reached Jabniel. The boundary ended at the sea. The western boundary and the coastline of the Great Sea, these are the boundaries around the people of Judah, by their clans. In accordance with the Lord's command to him, Joshua gave to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, a portion of Judah, Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron. Arba was the forefather of Anak. From Hebron, Caleb drove out the three Anakites, Sheshai, Ahiman, and Telmai, descendants of Anak. From there, he marched against the people living in Debir, formerly called Kiriath Sephor. And Caleb said, I will give my daughter, Aska, in marriage to the man who attacks the, and captures Kiriath Sephor, Oth, Othniel, son of Kenza, and Kenaz, Caleb's brother, took it. So Caleb gave his daughter, Aksa, to him in marriage. One day, when she came to Othniel, she urged him to ask her father for a field. When she got off her donkey, Caleb asked her, What can I do for you? She replied, Do me a special favor. Since you have given me land in the Negev, give me also springs of water. So Caleb gave her the upper and lower springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Judah, clan by clan. The southernmost towns of the tribe of Judah in the Negev toward the boundary of Edom were Kabziel, Eder, Jagur, Kina, Daimona, Adada, Kadesh, Hazor, Ifnan, Ziph, Telem, Baalath, Hazor, Hazor, Hadata, Kiriath, Hezron, that is, Hazor, Amam, Shema, Malada, Hazor, Gada, Heshmam, Beth, Pilet, Hazar, Shual, Beersheba, Bezeatha, Balal, Iam, Ezim, Eltal, El Tolad, Kassil, Horma, Ziglag, Madmana, Sansana, Deboath, Shilhim, Ayan, and Rimna and Rimon, a total of twenty nine towns and their villages. In the western foothills, Eshtal, Zora, Ashna, Zanoa, En Gamim, Tapua, Enam, Jarmuth, Adulam, Sokath, Azak, 
Esgar, Sharim, Adithem, and Gedera, or Gedarathim, fourteen towns and their villages, Zenon, Hadasha, Migdal, Gad, Dilian, Mizpah, Jakthiel, Lachish, Bozkath, Eglon, Kaban, Lamas, Kitlish, Gadirath, Beth Dagon, Nama, and Makeda, sixteen towns and their villages, Libna, Ethir, Ashan, Ipta, Ashna, Nizib, Kayla, Akzib, and Maresha, nine towns and their villages, Ekron with its surrounding settlements and villages, west of Ekron, all that were in the vicinity of Ashdod, together with their villages, Ashdod, its surrounding settlements and villages, and Gaza, its settlements and villages, as far as the Wadi of Egypt and the coastline of the Great Sea. In the hill country, Shamir, Jatir, so Soka, Soko, Dana, Kiriath, Shan, Sana, that is Debir, Anab, Eshtemo, Anim, Goshen, Holon, and Gila, eleven towns and their villages, Arab, Duma, Eshan, Janim, Beth Tapua, Efka, Efeka, Humta, Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, and Zior, nine towns and their villages. Maon, Carmel, Ziph, Jutah, Jezreel, Jokdeam, Zanoa, Cain, Gibeah, and, and Timna, ten towns and their villages. Halhul, Beth Zur, Kedor, Marath, Beth Anoth, and El Tekon, six towns and their villages. Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jerim, and Raba, two towns and their villages. In the desert, Beth Araba, Midden, Sekaka, Nibshan, the city of salt, and En Gedi, six towns and their villages. Judah could not dislodge the Jebusites who were living in Jerusalem. To this day, the Jebusites live there with the people of Judah.